हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिस सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द वेरी अवेटेड मच अवेटेड सीरीज व्हिच आई प्रॉमिस अर्लियर टू आई विल मेक वीडियो ऑन दैट दैट इज सफ्टेस एंड डिजाइन ओके सो इन द अपकमिंग डेज आई विल बी कवरिंग वेरियस एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ सफ्टेस एंड डिजाइन एंड वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ सफ्टेस एंड डिजाइन सो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो so in this video we will be discussing on what is a substation what are the different component of a substation etc okay so now first uh, let's uh, start with what is what is a substation you can see from the definition which i have written here that an electrical network is comprises of many uh, other station like generating station where the power is generated then transmission system uh, by which the power is transmitted then receiving station where the power is re received and further sub distributed and distribution system and then finally it goes to the load center that is to the consumers okay so in the uh, diagram let us see uh, the position of each of the systems so you can see that uh, up to point a there is generating station okay so power that is basically the uh, point of power plant where the power is generated at through generator then it is stepped up through a generator transformer and then connected to the switch yard of uh, power plant and then it is evacuated through a transmission line so at point b this there are many other generating stations are connected and as the output different transmission lines are uh, taken and that is distributed uh, sent to uh, various part of the country so basically b to c is basically our transmission system up to a is generating station a to b is a point where other generators are connected so you can call it as a grid and from b there are uh, the transmission systems are going across the country so b to c is a transmission system at c the power is received through a transmission line one or two transmission line or different uh, number of transmission line depending on its power capacity then there is uh, uh, different types of distribution system and it is distributed to the uh, local area that is uh, the voltage is reduced and distributed to local areas and at the uh, end of the distribution system there are load centers from which it is sent to the consumers level okay so now let us see where the exact substations are located so all point a point b point c point d all are substation okay so at point a we are we will call it as a generating substation where the power generated is tipped up and is sent b you can call it as a transmission substation you can call it grid substations because it is actually inter interconnecting all the uh, generate uh, generating stations that is power plants and uh, it is sending the power through the transmission line okay then b to c is our transmission system so there are transmission line generally this is uh, at the range of at the voltage range of 200 kb or 400 kb 220 kb or 400 kb okay so at receiving substation c is the receiving substation so it is receiving the power at 400 kb or 220 kb and then it is uh, distributing uh, to different local areas to the large consumers industries etc so here the voltage is generally stepped down to 132 kb or 33 kb depending on the load consumption for large consumer it could be 132 kb for medium consumption uh, consumers consumers it could be 33 kb so at this level the distribution is taken place up to up i mean up to further lower level it is stepped down to 33 kb or 11 kb and further distributed okay so at point uh, e point d where we i have mentioned as load center so here it is generally at 11 kb and then it is further stepped down to 415 volt and it is further distributed okay so these these generally do not have any fixed rule there uh, there are many kind of combination is possible but all the thing that is explained here that these interconnecting system by which all the uh, generators generating station the transmission system and distribution systems are interconnected is called a substation the basic component which is required for a substation is a transformer generally in a in a substation the voltage level is either stepped up or stepped down and is distributed as per the requirement okay 
सो बेसिकली साफ स्टेशन इज एन एसेंबली ऑफ डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रिकल कॉम्पोनेंट विच आर बास बार आइसोलेटर सर्किट ब्रेकर आर्थ टूच कारेंट ट्रांसफार्मार एंड वोल्टेज ट्रांसफार्मार सार्ज एरेस्टर और लाइटनिंग एरेस्टर एंड मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंटली इज ट्रांसफार्मार सो वी उल इंटरकनेक्ट वेर वी इंटरकनेक्ट दिस थिंग्स टू आई मीन टू एडजस्ट माई इनपुट एंड आउटपुट एज पर माई रिक्वायरमेंट इज कॉल्ड ए सबस्टेशन ओके सबस्टेशन इज ए वेरी ह्यूज सब्जेक्ट सो बाई सिंगल लाइन आई कैनॉट डिफाइन इट बट यू ऑल यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट इट इज बेसिकली एन असेंबली ऑफ दिस टाइप ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स ओके इन डिफरेंट मैनर वी विल मेक द सर्किट्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन द सबस्टेशन विल बी कैटेगराइज इट कुड बी इनडोर इट कुड बी आउटडोर विच आई विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो and uh, the basic functions of substation is maintaining the supply uh, supply continuity minimizing the fault duration so that means effective relaying optimizing the efficiency of plant and power system maintaining voltage variation within plus minus 10% and frequency variation within plus minus 3% okay so these are the basic functions of uh, substation but the most important function is that it's either steps up or step down the voltage level ओके सो फॉर बीइंग ए सबस्टेशन इट ट्रांसफॉर्मर इज एसेंशियल सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट व्हाट इज सबस्टेशन एंड व्हाट इज द बेसिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ सबस्टेशन एंड यू हैव एंजॉयड दिस वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन हाउ इंडोर आउटडोर टाइप सबस्टेशन आर क्लासिफाइड व्हाट इज ए स्विच गियर पैनल व्हाट इज स्विच यार्ड एंड व्हाट इज जी आई एस हाउ दे आर सिलेक्टेड व्हाट आर द क्राइटेरिया फॉर सिलेक्शन ऑन दैट अप टू विच लेवल वी विल गो फॉर ए कन्वेंशनल स्विच बोर्ड मेटल इन मेटल क्लाइड स्विच बोर्ड वेयर वी विल गो फॉर स्विच यार्ड एंड वेयर वी विल गो फॉर गैस इंसुलेटेड स्विच गियर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन दिस थिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल बी स्टार्टिंग डिस्कशन ऑन वेरियस टाइप ऑफ सबस्टेशन डिजाइंस सो प्लीज लाइक द वीडियो subscribe to our channel and comment if you have any doubt i hope you have enjoyed this video see, see you in the next video thank you very much for watching this video